Hey guys, um, this is my first video for Spot the Snapper. Um, this is, that's my new channel. Uh, I have another channel about fishing, but I decided to make another channel for my for turtles, uh, my snapping turtles specifically, and just kind of all-around reptile and turtle videos um, from my wild or whatever. Um, just kind of an intro to my uh, new channel. I'm gonna be trying to post videos frequently. This is my snapping turtles uh, tank. I've had him for about two years now. Uh, his name's Spot, which is why my channel's name is Spot the Snapper. So, uh, pretty good tank. It's huge, 300 gallon rubber mid. Um, I just recently uh, started trying to set it up more. You can see he's right there, chilling. Um, I got a few different level kind of stair type thing going on with uh, some rocks on the side so that he feels a little more secure because they like to hide uh, some floating plants around. It's a small filter right now just to kind of keep the water moving so the algae doesn't get start um, getting on the rocks. Uh, if you guys know any filters that are a good filter for about 300 gallon tank, well I don't have 300 gallons of water in there you can see it's only filled up maybe a third of the way. but if you guys know any good uh, filters for about 100 gallons, 200 gallons of water, uh, that's relatively cheap. Please message me or t comment below because I need to find a new one. Um, I just used some landscaping rocks. You can see uh, they look for like patios or type, something like that. Uh, it's kind of stacked them up to about a dollar at Home Depot. So some big rocks around here. My light for him. Um, We've got a little heater down there. Keep the water at about 70 degrees. You can see he's gotten pretty big actually. I mean, uh, I can try to get some pictures of him when he was, when I got him as a baby. You can see the size he is as compared to my thumb. And, uh, two years ago, he was half the size of my thumb. So, he's a tame little dude. He doesn't mind people, do you? Yeah, he's an awesome pet. I love him. The only thing about him is his claws. They're a killer. They're like little needles stabbing into your arm when he walks. But he's he doesn't like enjoy. I mean, you can see, of course, he doesn't want to be like touched. But I can put my hand right there, and he won't bite me. He's never bitten me because I hold him a lot. Snapping turtles really aren't dangerous animals. In the wild, they can be. And they usually will be, but um, he's used to humans. He knows that they're not going to hurt him, so he doesn't bite you. That's the only reason they bite you in the wild is because, I mean, you're <laughs> annoying them and you're bothering them, and they're not used to you, and they think you're going to hurt them. So uh, that's kind of a little intro to my video. If you want, uh, comment, uh, like, subscribe, tell me what you think I should have in my tank. I'll be doing some informational videos on snapping turtles. I have a few, um, I have two, they're called important facts about snapping turtles and more important facts about snapping turtles. It's where I talk about uh, snapping turtles and a lot of thing, important things about them. I think it's really cool, check it out. Um, it's not on this channel, it's on my other channel. Uh, I'm not going to be transferring them because it would just be too much work and I want two copies of it. but. You, it's, it's on my favorites. If you go to my favorites, favorite videos on this channel, uh, you'll find it there. So, uh, subscribe. I'll be sure to post more videos. Tell me what you think about them. Tell me what kind of videos you want me to post. And, uh, thanks.